Hi guys, your buddy Rorschach here. So we've got Toys R Us here in Swindon, which is closing down. See the signs on the door there, 70% off. Just been in the store, I was a bit too self-conscious to you know, do the video in there. But then what I saw on the shelves, uh, the few remaining toys that they have got in there are, are mainly Star Wars related. And I noticed that there's two characters that they uh, they couldn't sell. There are loads of, uh, there are loads of these characters on the shelves. It was um, Kylo Ren, and Ray from the The Force Awakens, and there was um, some other like Wonder Woman and other social justice type type characters sprinkled um, amongst there. But there was no Boba Fett, there was no Darth Vader's, there was no Han Solos, there was none of the uh, original Star Wars um, toys left in there. It was all from The Force Awakens. Um, actually, nothing from the the latest um, Star Wars movie that everyone's moaning about. The the is it called the Last Jedi movie? Didn't see any of that stuff. It was all the the Force Awakens. I don't know what that says really, um, but I, yeah, I kind of do really, because it was the Force Awakens that uh, that was the marking point for me really when I jumped off the the Star Wars uh, train, and I said to myself after watching that movie, that's it for me, uh, no more Star Wars. It's gone to the dark side. It's gone to the the ultra extreme hardcore leftist social justice side of things and I'm not interested anymore. This isn't for me. This is all about um, taking something that was great in the past and putting a big old stamp of um, virtue signaling, corporate virtue signaling all over it, mixed up with um, third wave feminism and all the culture Marxist stuff that you usually get in modern contemporary um, cultural artifacts, movies, books, uh, television shows, uh, songs, videos, bank adverts, the, the old lot. So the, the Force Awakens then was the time that I said that's it for me, for Star Wars, and I find it maybe I'm quite fitting then. That Toys R Us is, uh, is closing down, and the, the last few remaining toys on the shelves are from The Force Awakens with Kylo Ren, the worst villain in Star Wars history. That guy was such a wet blanket, it's unbelievable. And uh, the girl who beat him easily in the end of the movie, uh, super empowered Mary Sue Ray, the two remaining characters on the shelves that have been forced down the throats of everyone, but still nobody wants. So goodbye to um, Toys R Us. I said goodbye to Star Wars a few years ago now. I was uh, a bit upset about that, because you know Star Wars was a big part of my childhood. I had all the toys and would even have loved the movies. But uh, hey, as uh, Western civilization goes into its um, death spiral, I guess we're gonna have to get used to saying goodbye to things. So uh, thanks for the memories, Toys R Us. Um, it wasn't your fault. Um, the culture's gone rancid, gone rotten, and you, you really can, you can't sell rotten fruit uh, as hard as you try. So yeah, thanks again for the memories. Cheers. It's a sad day, Toys R Us. Closing down in a couple of days. Hey, I guess Western civilization as a whole will be closing down very soon as well. Oh dear, very black pilled. Uh, <clears throat> let me know what you think about the few um, things I mentioned in this video. Uh, what do you think of the, the closure of Toys R Us? Do you think it's related to the Star Wars franchise and how that's gone to the, the dark side of social justice? You know, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for checking out the video. Take care everyone and I'll catch you all later.